Like, I understand this week was going to be back and forth, but I just don't think it's too late. Like, it isn't. Like, I just know that this is going to be a move that's regretted. Like, it just, it's, it doesn't have to be done. Like, I'm going to go to the jury and explain the story, and it's just going to look so bad. Like, it just doesn't look good. And they're going to be like, what? Like, Vic's going to be like, told you so. Did the same thing to me. Karma. You know what I mean? Tina's going to be like, oh, Tara got you out. She said she was going to get you out the whole game. Keith, I did just say to explain to Jed straight up that this is not to be pinned on YouTube. That I've been in every conversation that I have been having, I've been deliberating with you guys. I am telling Jed that straight up. So you two are trying to convince us that you're not coming, that Jed's not coming for us. No. I just want you guys to know moving forward that I haven't, like Jed just isn't fully with me if he stays. That I am telling you that, and Jed, straight to his fucking face, that I have, us three have been in rooms. I have been in rooms with Keith alone. I have been in rooms with you alone. You guys have been in rooms by yourselves. And we have been talking about keeping Jed or sending him to jury. Mm -hmm. I don't want you guys sitting here thinking that Jed is going against Ty or Jed is just going against you. No, it's literally not the case. You've never been that player here. I've always been straightforward. I've 100% been talking about getting Jed out this week. Yep. Because, and I just said it, your memory is fucking unreal. Look at you. I can't beat you. Yep. You win the game. Mm -hmm. No, I understand. I, I understand. That I, know. I know. I know. I think if you stay after making this move, there's a really high chance you win the game. I think I, I think I could beat you, head. but I think I could lose too. I mean, you can lose to anybody. You could. But it's just like, what is... Like what, is, just, what is having you here do for me going forward? Having me here? Yes. Aren't you going to come for me? Right now? <laughs> Why not? Why wouldn't you? Because I literally... I've. You're going to wait a week to come for me? No. I've pledged my... I've literally pledged my loyalty and my allegiance to us for this game. So it's like... I've never falter from that and my move is weak if that doesn't show that then I don't know what would like literally like I, I literally thought that it would be us getting to the end and then at that point someone wins someone just whoever wins wins at that point I thought that was the goal hence why I made this move like it was a move for us if I didn't want to make this move if I wanted you to go home I would have just used the veto on myself and then pushed for people to, to sway and get you out. But I didn't do it. You didn't want to go on the block, so I made sure that you didn't go on the block. I didn't want you sitting beside Beth, because I didn't want one of you guys going home. I made it happen. So it's like, if that doesn't show that I didn't want us to go after each other, then I don't know what else would. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know. Like, anyone can be beaten in this game. Like, I can be beaten. You guys have all beaten me in memory comps. I got one out of five on before and after. I fucked up a booth many times. Like, I'm not unbeatable. Like, I don't know why you guys... No one's saying that. Un like, no one's calling you unbeatable. Yeah, like, well, it sounds like it. <laughs> that's what it is. Like, it just sounds like I'm, you guys don't believe in yourselves enough to beat me. Like, I feel like any of you guys can beat me. You could. I just think the consensus amongst the group, if I'm not lying, if I could speak for everybody, is that if you're not here, we all have a better, we all have a better chance of winning. All right. But is that and the I way you want to win? What does the way we want to win mean? What does it mean anymore? We all aimed at each other at one point. We know it's inevitable. We're going to have to. Yeah. It's just about when, but we already did, so it, it makes me question whether we aim at each other going forward or not. <clears throat> I don't believe we don't. And there's nothing you can say to change my mind. I don't believe it. 16 days, I'm going to be on a plane home to my family. If I get second, first place, my life changes a lot more than yours. A lot more. I win first place. I can help get my mom out of debt. I can pay off my sister's student loans. 
make a better life. I wasn't the only one to put you on the block. No, you weren't. No, it was a group thing. It was. But you're the only one on the block right now. Okay. I mean, for you, I would have hoped that, I mean, at that point, don't bring your, your family into it then. Don't bring your kids into it. It's too late. Because that's dark. It's dark as fuck. <laughs> so I hope. Poor that people have always done crazy shit for money, Jed. And that's never going to change. I mean, don't bring that shit into a keeper. The life of your kids. I mean, I hope that's, I don't know. That's, 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 that's weird, man. So, so Keith swore on what to protect who? He swore on his kids that if given the opportunity to save me, he would. You? Yeah. Just you? Yeah. So like moving forward, I mean, I don't know what you guys are gonna do. I don't know, it seems like all bets are off at this point. There's no such thing as loyalty in this game. And I would find it hard to trust anybody in this house at this point. I wouldn't have any best case scenarios to win other than yourself, honestly, because look what happens. <laughs> I thought I was with a solid alliance in this game. I literally put my life on the line for you guys. And this is, this is how you guys repay me, just for some money that you're not even guaranteed. Yeah, it's absolutely disgusting. This isn't how, like this game isn't, clearly isn't for me because this isn't how I, I do things. This isn't how I live my life. I don't do like, I don't do this kind of shit for money. Like this is, these are relationships that I wanted to have. You still do. You don't have to be done with us because we cut you in a game. We're gonna have to cut each other anyways. You yeah, but this is, this is different, man. Like this is personal. This really is personal. Beth, right? please go to the diary room. Like the, the way in which this is going on is like, it's like, it's literally a personal attack. So now it's like, how do I get over this? Like this is, this is me in front of Canada, in front of my family. Last night, they're like, whoa, what the fuck is he doing? You humiliated me last week. How? Putting me on the block. Your day one, you said it. Yeah. This move wasn't made for me. I was never touching the block, Jed. What move? This move. Oh, yeah, you right. Did. Yeah, yeah. This isn't for me. This isn't a loyalty thing to me. I was never going to touch the block. Right. Like... I felt it was the only thing I could do. And I knew coming into this game that I was going to have to do it once to try to save me in this game. And I got permission from my girl to do it. She said it's big brother. To swear on your kids? Yeah. Different. You're different. I'm, I'm just different. That's fine. I just, you know, at the end of the but day. You, and at the end of the day, how different are you than me? You put me up with the intent of sending me home. I didn't have the intent to send you home, though, and I told you that. <laughs> I told you to your face. I'm putting you up on the block because. You told me 25 minutes. You didn't even give me a chance to fight for my life. You told me 25 minutes before the POV ceremony, Jed. If I'm your day one, your ride or die, you don't do that to them. Right. We worked together this whole game. I never looked your direction, Invisible HOH. I protected you whether you believe it or not. A every turn, I had your back. And yeah. the first time you're HOH, I go up on the block. Yeah. In a game about action, you didn't have a chance to prove loyalty to me. Right. Fair. Like. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's fair. 
Like, I put you up on the block. It wasn't solely my decision, but yeah, I did. I put you on the block. And at that moment, the only act of loyalty I could have shown was not advocating for you to go home at all. And that's, that's what I did. And although other people in this house <coughs> wanted you to go home, I wasn't with it. So that was the only act I could have shown in that moment. Um, yeah, man, honestly, I do see you as, a, as my day one guy, and we have a very strong relationship no matter what. And uh, same, same with you, Ty. Obviously, it's, it's a tough pill to swallow, but I mean, this game brings out your insecurities. So, if you guys don't think you can the beat me, is now open. if that's the way you guys have to win, if you guys need money like that, do your thing. But that's not the way I wanted to come here and win. Because at this point, if you want to just beat people that haven't done shit in this game, then cool. I hope, I hope the money's worth it. But still no guarantee that you can get there. I'm probably next. Probably. Like I'll, or whatever. I don't know. I don't know who's next. At this point, I don't know who. Could be, could be, could be anybody. Could be At anybody. this point, all bets are off. There's no such thing as alliances anymore. No names. We're not doing this shit anymore. Like, we had an opportunity, but... Yeah, it's not. It's not the greatest alliance. It's not. It's not. It ended when you put me on the block, Judd. It didn't end right here. Mm-hmm. I mean, I want to never put you on the block. Ever. Not this week, not next week. Right. And out of the four, I would have been the only crazy motherfucker to pick you mm -hmm. in a final two situation. And you couldn't pick me in a seven. Mm -hmm. A seven. That's fair, man. <sighs> That's that fair. broke me, man. I was ready to self evict. It changed who I was in this game. Yeah. It made me, th you said you didn't think you could beat me. You said I was too set up. Well, you stay, you're set up. Better than I was last week. Mm -hmm. What do you say to me? Loyalty to everybody is loyalty to nobody. Right. And all you're doing is preaching loyalty to everybody now, Jed. I've been loyal to everybody. Not me. Did you go home? <laughs> no, because I begged. I fought my way back. You weren't going home, bro. You weren't going home. I shouldn't have went up. I mean, if that's gonna, if, <laughs> people are gonna have to hit the block now. So if you're gonna be emotional I'm, and I hold mean, it on, their people, emotions are gone now. I'm different. I'm just saying, man. Like, like I should have never hit the block, Jed. If I was truly your day one. Yeah. There was other options. I would have voted out Tina. I wouldn't have went against the group. We could have had a discussion. Braden could have stayed. You could have saved face that way, just like you could have saved face with me, but you wanted to save face with Braden. I just don't get that move. I truly feel like Tashawn, Beth, and I can stick together through this. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how you can trust many people going forward now but hopefully you guys can hopefully you guys aren't going to be playing emotionally like people have in the past because this game is no place for emotions that's clear but yeah, I mean obviously I'm going to have to Go tell the jury what's popping, what happened, and I still don't even really know. <laughs> like, I'm gonna have to just say what I think I know, but I have no idea what happened this week. Tara's telling me it was a plan from the very beginning. 